What's going on guys, my name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. You took everything I had, you tore it all apart, but baby, don't you touch my scarred guitar. Alright, check this out. We got something cool happening here in just a few minutes. I think I hear them now. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'm thinking today's gonna be super cool. Let's check out this X tool. Everything was super packaged. I mean, it was incredible the way this thing was packaged. I've never gotten a laser in the mail or a CNC for that matter. That was packaged so dang good. Looks like all the parts made it in one piece. Everything's okay. I don't see how it couldn't the way that they boxed it up. Also like to mention that I talked to them uh, about getting this and within four days I had it. It was in my hands within four days. Now I was going to show a little video of me putting this together because it came with some beautiful instruction manuals that are in color. But Paul Paul's workshop did that. There's a link in the description. It was only eight screws to put it together, a couple of other small things to tighten up and attach. Other than that, this thing's ready for sound. Now they sent along the RA2 Pro attachment. We're not gonna mess with that today because I didn't get the air assist yet. Now it wasn't anything to do on their part. That was an afterthought, so it came separately. But that thing looks pretty cool, don't it? I can't wait to try that out. But today we're just gonna fool around with this and see what we can make to help us make guitars. Now, before I got this, I told myself, man, I'm probably gonna need some killer computer to run this thing. Boy, was I wrong. This is an Evolve 3, it was a hundred bucks on eBay. Now, it's just a little baby laptop, doesn't have no super specs or nothing like that, but it runs their software beautifully. Yeah, I was super stoked when I found out I wasn't gonna need a super computer to run this guy. Okay, so we're in Xtools Creative Space. If you look up on the top right there, you'll see that the machine is connected by USB. Now I wanna make some templates for pickup cavities, but I have to draw that out first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna insert over here a rectangle. It's gonna let me draw that out pretty much. And then once it's drawn, I can go up here and make it the exact size I want. So I want it to be one and a half by 2.75 let's do that the other way instead of turning it all right so we want two of those so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control C control V that gives us another one these need to be about two and a half inches apart and what's cool is you notice it gives me the distance you see that look that's crazy ain't it okay so the next thing we want to do is we're going to add a couple of more rectangles because we have to have a spot for the pickup to actually go down into we'll use that right there looks good you can center that perfectly see how it centers it for you Pretty cool software, huh? Let's put another one over here. Here, snap him in place. See that? That's dope, ain't it? Now I'm gonna copy both of them. You gotta hold shift down to copy both. We'll just bring him on down here. It'll snap it in the middle for us again. See that? Nice, huh? That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Alright, so we got our thing. Let's cut this booger out. So I'll select all of them. I'll come over here and I'll turn my power up over here on the right. I want to cut through, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to 100. I'm going to put the speed somewhere around 6, maybe. Or let's go 5 for this one. Then we're going to click the process button. It's going to bring us to this screen right here. So I want to start from the middle to make sure I have 
a lot of board left over. Let's put a screen up here too so you can see the machine. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to move the machine down to the middle of my workpiece. I'll do that by clicking these buttons right here. That looks middle enough for me. Now the next thing I need to do is, I need to kick my kickstand down, lower this down till that touches my work area. Kick the kickstand back up. Now we're gonna click the framing button. It's got this cool little button on the top. You click that and it shows you where it's gonna frame it exactly what we're gonna get for cut all right let's blast through this thing yeah that guy's done let's check it out Boy, that looks killer, don't it? Let's see if it cut it all the way through. Nice, too. I mean, look, it's a perfect humbucker template. <laughs> Just that simple. Sweet, huh? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking this thing's pretty sick. Now, I got this fretboard here. It's pretty sweet, but it needs some inlays cut for it. I got a piece of Paducah up here. I'm just gonna cut a couple of them out for now. This video is getting kind of long. But in the future, we're gonna be doing this in every video. You're gonna get to see this all the time. But uh, that's not flip flapping. Let's make it happen. Well, let's see what we got. I didn't cut it all the way through. I could take it over the drum sander and finish it on off, but look at that, it just come right out. Now here's the true test, see if it fits in. Boy, look at that. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, ain't it? Yeah, this thing's pretty cool, ain't it? Look at those inlays. Man, I ain't never seen them fit like that with a CNC. That is beautiful. I mean, seriously, look at how tight those inlays fit in there. <laughs> Crazy, huh? I'm gonna have a hard time getting them out to glue them. So my initial thoughts on this thing for guitar making is it's incredible. The possibilities are endless. It's all about how creative you are. Now over the next couple weeks, we're gonna stretch the limits on what this thing can do to make guitars. I got a bunch of ideas, I can't wait to share them with you. Now if you have any ideas on what you think I can make with this thing, and you know how to spell and type, go ahead and put it in the comments. Cause if it's something cool, I'll make it. Now if you're interested in the next tool, you need to get in the description. If you use my link, it'll save you some money and it helps the channel. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, don't you touch my scar guitar or my X tool little bonus footage for you that's a mirror check it out <laughs> not frosted the glass too you see that this took about 35 minutes uh these mirrors were about 30 bucks on amazon for 10 of them but that's really cool isn't it i love it man what do you guys think about that you got something you'd love to put on a mirror wife would probably like but i think that's really cool right there i don't know about you guys but all right, this video is long enough. All right, you guys beat it.